Hi, I'm Milan Chahan. I'm working as a software engineer in Core 7 Software Product Limited. So here, I'll show you how to create a SharePoint workflow using Visual Studio 2012 for SharePoint 2013. So let's go and create an empty SharePoint project. We'll name it as my first Visual Studio workflow. We'll keep it as setbox solution. So now our project has been created. Let's add a workflow item to the project. We'll limit as log to history workflow. This will be this workflow. We'll be attaching this workflow to the VS workflow testing list. We'll be using workflow history list and task list. We want to trigger this workflow whenever the new item has been created to the list. So here you can see that our workflow item along with the workflow task list has been added. Here we have two features. Let's rename the features. Our features are being renamed. Let's go and create a workflow. So before we start with the workflow, let's think about the scenario. So whenever a new list item has been added, we'll add an entry to the history. So for that, we'll need write to history activity. We'll drag and drop this activity to the sequence. Now we'll add the message. Close the window and build the project. Now let's publish it. is published. Now we have to activate solution and features. To activate solution and feature go to the site. Go to site settings. solutions. Here we can find our solution. Let's activate the solution. Our solution has been activated. Let's go and activate features. Now we are ready 
with our workflow let's go to vs workflow testing list to test our workflow let's add an item let's check the workflow we can see that our workflow is being completed let's click on lock to history workflow to check the history so here you can see that a description has been added for the workflow which is our visual workflow which means that our workflow ran successfully so in this way you can create a simple visual studio workflow for SharePoint 2013 thanks for watching the video bye have a good day